Hey boys and girls, I'm here to tell you a little bit about what's due, uh, supposed to be due on Friday, although I'm gonna extend it as long as you're working on your project and you're doing your trials, you should have more than enough time to finish before the Thanksgiving break. But looking at what's due by Friday is supposed to be your conclusion and your science log. I'm going to extend that. If you're working, continue working. I just, the projects have to be done before, the week before Thanksgiving. So I'll make sure that we're on progress for that but if you are working just continue working but if you have things to turn in then go ahead and turn them in I won't be here on Friday so I know November 1st is your conclusion in your science log if you want to turn it in then my sub will take it for you otherwise you can just wait till next week and I'll take a look at it I wanted to show you uh, give an example of the conclusion I wrote it out about our skittle project that we've been doing your conclusion should restate your topic or your question. It should also tell me whether or not your hypothesis was correct or incorrect, and it's okay if it's incorrect, uh, and that's great to put in your conclusion. I also talked a little bit about the results, uh, something that continued to happen. If you are uh, melting candy bars and it continues to be uh, a certain one, you could kind of say that this continues to happen and maybe your idea as to why. And then you should also have in there a sentence or two or a paragraph about if you were going to do this project again, what would you change? Because as scientists, we want to change and improve things. And so for our Skittle project, I know that time was an issue. So I would possibly say that I need to give more time. I also thought that I want to use liquids that we could see because it was hard for us to see through the milk and the Coke and things like that. So could I just use all clear liquids to maybe change something? Let's see. I think I continue. Now, does yours have to be this long? Probably not. Parents, if you want to help type, that's fine too. We'll just put it into their science log. Um, let me just see a little bit here. The topic of my project was, and I listed it, um, I, we experimented with five different liquids, and it turns out that Skittles dissolve faster in water than in others, so stating what my data showed. My hypothesis was proven wrong because we had guessed as a class that we thought vinegar, um, but according to my data, vinegar did dissolve second um, second fastest. So if we were doing a race, first was the uh, water, second was the vinegar. And then for every trial, that milk, we never got the Skittle to dissolve fully in that hour. So I put that it always came in last. Our results were consistent. Uh, we didn't have any outliers. I know um, somebody came in and talked about their project and said, well, it only took a couple minutes this time, but then on another time it took this. So it might be an outlier, and those are okay to go ahead and put in there. Ours were consistent. Um, however, my dependent variable of timing became an issue as we kept running out of time. So it's okay to put things that may have gone wrong and that um, we kind of just had to make adjustments for. So then I said, therefore, we made a cutoff time of one hour. So if you are doing something, a process over time, and it continues to take way too much time or you set yourself, you gave yourself a couple hours and it's past that, then just go ahead and give yourself a cutoff time. And then if I were to do the project again, I would change the liquids. That's what I mentioned, maybe using clear uh, liquids instead. I also put that I might try using the same liquids, but using a different type of candy. So water worked really well for the Skittles to dissolve, but what if I chose maybe a gobstopper or a gummy bear, something like that? Would my results change? Would water still dissolve that? candy the fastest. So this is your conclusion um, that is supposed to be due on Friday. Remember I said I'm going to extend it. Just turn it in as, as you have it. Uh, a lot of great things I see coming in. Students are keeping up with their log. Remember, every time you do something, go ahead and put your date and log it. Suggestions I have. Mine are, look pretty lengthy. A sentence or two is fine and spread that out over a couple days. So I know if you did a full trial in a day and then you also wrote that data in, I'm getting, I'm receiving big paragraphs for one day, you might want to spread that out over a couple days. That's okay. No one's really going to know, especially if your log is um, not not as full and not as uh, you only have one or two things logged in. Let's see. I have a couple here. Uh, this student, you can see nice dates. This is what I'm saying, very long. So I just said you may want to, it's 
I love what you have here, but you may want to shorten it and then add more dates because I'm looking now, we only have six dates in here. So something to work on. Has all the parts, they glued in their research. Here are their variables. Remember, if you don't know any part, uh, the variables were a little confusing. I did make a video to try to explain it, but if you have any questions. So this student here, we only have two dates. This isn't going to work. So I need to work with this student to make up some dates between November, or excuse me, September 16th and October 24th. I'm sure a lot of things happened, whether we were just thinking about it, but then this is the day we did most of our things. And that's okay, we're gonna just add to it. Uh, I know, look at, I have data, I have all of these things. So this is the log that's going to also be turned in and completed with your science uh, fair project. I do wanna say, I did have a parent reach out and ask about the science board. Let me turn this back around. I'm going to send out an email today that gives an example of what the science board should uh, have the components of. It's going to list it on, there's a certain components on the left, there's certain components on the right, and then in the middle. And then your logbook and any research or data we can put down at the bottom of the, on the table. Uh, I'll send that out through email. It's a suggestion. Those are the key components which should be in your log. And then if you want, I could also help design it or give you any feedback. I know, remember, we can't use food. So if you did use food, the student I think used popcorn, go ahead and just glue the wrappers on there. Spice it up a little bit. Make it look jazzy. Uh, you can use lettering. You can use markers. You can use your printer. Do any of those things and draw the attention to your project. If you have any questions, email me. Let me know. I know we're coming to an end. We, won't con we will continue doing science in class even though our science project is done. Hope you all have a great weekend and I'll see you next week.